everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hermione for those of you who are new here and today I'm going to be showing you some DIY room decor. I'm just feeling in the room decor spirit and I didn't want it to be seasonal because I just wanted to do something a little bit different in case you guys are a little bit inundated with autumn stuff right now. So this is just regular room decor and there will be some autumn ones probably coming up soon too. <laughs> and today's video is a collaboration with the wonderful Mako who has a channel called Macachino. She makes incredible videos and incredible DIYs. She is awesomely talented. You guys really need to go check her out. She is so, so cool. So definitely go check that out once you've seen this video. I would love for you guys to go and subscribe to her. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe to me and you are new here, hello, my name is Hermione. I would love for you guys to stick around, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And that is it, so let's get into this video. This first project is something I've wanted to make for a really long time now and it's these geometric wall shapes that you see everywhere all over Pinterest so here's how I made them. I picked up these wooden dowel sticks from the dollar store and they have a flat top to them which is really nice for this project because it helps glue them together. All I did was use my hot glue gun to arrange them in a shape of a triangle and a diamond and then I hot glued them together. So I started with the edges that were flat on the table and arranged my shape and then I went ahead and added a little bit more glue to each corner just to strengthen it up a little bit. When that was dry to make the shape 3D I then added more of these wooden dowels to the side by hot glue gunning the corners once again and then arranging all the dowels and holding them at the top with my fingers. It only takes a couple of minutes for the glue to dry but you'll probably have to hold them in place just for a little while. And once it was dry I added a blob of hot glue to the middle just to cover up the edges of the shape and make it a little bit more rounded. So this is me doing the diamond and I actually used a mug to help prop up those extra dowels. Once you finish take them outside and spray paint them. I painted mine gold and then I just put them on the wall with some blue tack. Next up is a project that is very easy to make but I think it looks really awesome and a statement piece for your room. So I took this octagon shaped mirror from the craft store and I taped it with some painters tape where I wanted the glitter to go and I'm just creating a diagonal line. I went ahead and added Mod Podge to the area I wanted to use the glitter on and shook the glitter on top of the mirror applying a huge huge coat of it just to make sure it was all covered don't let this dry too long before you peel the tape off otherwise a lot of the glitter might come off but this is what the end piece looks like and I think it looks so cool I am in love with how it turned out Next up is a very quick DIY that I think looks really cool on a bedside table or on a dresser and it's these glass coasters. I'm using these hexagons from Michael's Craft Store, they were $1.99, this is what they look like and I'm just gluing them together with some hot glue. What I did was I started with one in the center and then I gradually made a ring of them around it and this made my small coaster but you can make a larger one by adding another ring of hexagons and make sure you have the flat side facing downwards so it gives a really flat surface to your project. This is a simple project that I think looks like it could have been bought from a store. Lastly I have this decor piece which doubles up as organization for your room and I'm using it to store my accessories and jewelry so here's how to make it. I took a frame that I got in a thrift store and made sure it was empty on the inside and then cut some chicken wire to be just bigger than the frame. If you want to make this easier on yourself cut it the exact size of the frame but I just wanted to make sure I had excess space. Then I went ahead and used an industrial style <laughs> staple gun, you know one of those really big scary horrible ones and I stapled the chicken wire onto the frame. I made sure to use a ton of staples to make sure that the chicken wire wasn't going to go anywhere. For the final touch I made sure to use wire clippers to clip the excess bits of wire and then bend the little tiny bits over to make sure that nothing was going to scratch me or the walls. And that is simply all there is to it and you can use this to hang anything that you would like on. I'm using it for accessories but this would look so good if you printed off some pictures and used those mini pegs to put them in place. It would make a great display board for above your desk. 
that is everything I have for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and it inspired you to go and make some DIY room decor. Let me know if you're going to try any of these in the comment box below. And of course, go and check out Mako from Macatino. She is amazing and tell her I sent you and send her loads of love. So that is everything. I will catch you guys in my next video and uh, see you then. Bye. <laughs>